ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਓ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੈਮਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਸਲਫਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਕੰਪਾਉਂਡਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜ੍ਹਾਂਗੇ ਆਓ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਲਫਰ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੀਏ ਸਲਫਰ ਧਰਤੀ ਦੀ ਪੇਪੜੀ ਵਿੱਚ 0.05% ਤੱਕ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਅਤੇ ਮੁਕਤ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਲਫਰ ਮੁਕਤ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸਿਸਲੀ ਇਟਲੀ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਸਾਊਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਜਪਾਨ ਅਤੇ ਰਸ਼ੀਆ ਦੇ ਜਵਾਲਾਮੁਖੀ ਖੇਤਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਭਾਰਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਲਫਰ ਦਾ ਬੰਟਾਰ ਹਿਮਾਚਲ ਪ੍ਰਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਜਵਾਲਾਮੁਖੀ ਖੇਤਰ ਹਨ ਸੰਯੁਕਤ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਲਫਰ ਆਕਸ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਐਸ ਸਲਫਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਸਲਫੇਟ ਓਜ਼ ਸਚ ਐਸ ਜਿਪਸਮ ਐਪਸਮ ਸਾਲਟ ਬੇਰਾਈਟ ਗੈਲੀਨਾ ਜ਼ਿੰਕ ਬਲੈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਪਰ ਪਾਈਰਾਈਡਸ ਹਾਈਡਰੋਜਨ ਸਲਫਾਈਡ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਨੈਚੁਰਲ ਗੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਕਰੂਡ ਆਇਲ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨਦਰ ਮੇਜਰ ਸੋਰਸ ਆਫ ਸਲਫਰ ਇਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟਸ ਇਨ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਮੈਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕੰਸਟਿਟਿਊਐਂਟ ਆਫ ਮੈਨੀ ਆਰਗੈਨਿਕ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲਸ ਸਚ ਐਸ ਐਗਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਗਾਰਲਿਕ ਅਨੀਅਨ ਮਸਟਰਡ ਹੇਅਰ ਵੂਲ ਐਂਡ ਐਨਜ਼ਾਈਮਸ ਸਲਫਰ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਐਕਸਟ੍ਰੈਕਟਡ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਅੰਡਰਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਡਿਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਨੈਚੁਰਲ ਗੈਸ upon completion of this topic learners will be able to describe sources of sulfur list allotropes of sulfur describe different allotropes of sulfur discuss preparation properties and uses of sulfur dioxide list oxo acids of sulfur discuss manufacture properties and uses of sulfuric acid let us now discuss about allotropes of sulfur sulfur kai allotropic forms vich mildi hai jinha cho tin kafi mahatvapurn han these three main allotropic forms are rhombic sulfur monoclinic sulfur plastic sulfur ao sab to pehla rhombic sulfur aur ਅਲਫਾ ਸਲਫਰ ਬਾਰੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰੀਏ ਰੋਂਬਿਕ ਸਲਫਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਐਸ S8 ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲਸ ਦ ਸਲਫਰ ਐਟਮਸ ਆਰ ਅਰੇਂਜਡ ਇਨ ਅ ਪਕਰਡ ਰਿੰਗ ਐਸ ਸ਼ੋਨ ਔਨ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬ੍ਰਾਈਟ ਪੇਲ ਯੈਲੋ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟਲਾਈਨ ਇਨ ਨੇਚਰ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਫਾਰਮ S8 ਮੋਲੀਕਿਊਲਸ ਆਰ ਸੋ ਅਰੇਂਜਡ ਥੈਟ ਦ ਰਿੰਗਸ ਫਿਟ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਇਨਟੂ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ This is the most stable form of sulfur at room temperature and all other varieties of sulfur change into this form on standing. It is insoluble in water but dissolves to some extent in benzene, alcohol and ether. However, it is readily soluble in carbon disulfide. It is the common form of sulfur and is formed by slowly evaporating the solution of roll sulfur in carbon disulfide when octahedral crystals of sulfur appear monoclinic sulfur or beta sulfur this form of sulfur is prepared by melting rhombic sulfur in a china dish and cooling till a crust is formed two holes are made in the crust and the remaining liquid is poured out on removing the crust needle shaped crystals of beta sulfur are formed it is dull yellow in color and like rhombic sulfur it is also soluble in carbon disulfide monoclinic sulfur also exists as s8 molecules with puckered ring structures like rhombic sulfur however the two forms differ in the manner of packing of the molecules in their crystal lattice it is stable above 369 kelvin and transforms into alpha sulfur below this temperature it slowly changes into rhombic sulfur thus at 369 kelvin both the varieties of sulfur coexist and this temperature is called the transition temperature plastic sulfur 
प्लास्टिक सल्फर इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय हीटिंग रोल सल्फर एंड पोरिंग मोल्टन सल्फर इनटू कोल्ड वाटर व्हेन अ सॉफ्ट रबर लाइक मास कॉल्ड प्लास्टिक सल्फर इज फॉर्म्ड प्लास्टिक सल्फर कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ जिगजैग चेन्स एंड समटाइम्स एसेट एंड अदर रिंग्स इट इज एन एमॉर्फस फॉर्म ऑफ सल्फर इट इज सॉफ्ट एंड इलास्टिक इन द बिगनिंग बट हार्डन्स ऑन स्टैंडिंग एंड ग्रेजुअली चेंजेस टू रोम्बिक सल्फर इट हैज नो शार्प मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इट हैज डेंसिटी ऑफ वन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव ग्राम्स पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब इट इज इनसॉलिबल इन कार्बन डाइसल्फाइड प्लास्टिक सल्फर इज रिगार्डेड एज सुपर कोल्ड लिक्विड दैट इज अ लिक्विड विच ड्यू टू रैपिड कूलिंग बिलो इट्स फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट हैड नो टाइम टू सेटल इन अ क्रिस्टलाइन फॉर्म विद्यार्थियों आओ हूँ सल्फर के कंपाउंड्स बारे विचार करिए लेट अस बिगिन विद सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इट कंटेन सल्फर इन प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट लेट अस फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स प्रिपरेशन सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज फॉर्म टुगेदर विद लिटिल सल्फर ट्राइऑक्साइड ऑफ अबाउट सिक्स टू एट परसेंट व्हेन सल्फर इज बर्नड इन एयर और ऑक्सीजन हैव अ लुक एट द इक्वेशन ऑन द स्क्रीन In the laboratory sulfur dioxide is prepared by treating sodium sulfite with dilute sulfuric acid as shown on the screen It can also be prepared by treating sodium thiosulfate with dilute sulfuric acid It may also be prepared in the laboratory by heating copper turnings with concentrated sulfuric acid Have a look at the equation on the screen. Industrially, it is produced as a byproduct of roasting of sulfide ores such as iron pyrite or zinc blend in oxygen. Iron pyrite reacts with oxygen to form ferrous oxide and sulfur dioxide. Zinc blend reacts with oxygen to form zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide the gas is dried liquefied under pressure and stored in steel cylinders aao hun sulfur dioxide diya properties bare vichar kariye properties it has the following properties it is a colorless toxic gas with a pungent and suffocating odor it is heavier than air it is readily soluble in water at 0 degree celsius it can dissolve about 8 volumes of the gas let us now discuss the chemical properties of sulfur dioxide we will first discuss about the acidic character sulfur dioxide dissolves in water giving sulfurous acid So sulfur dioxide is regarded as anhydride of sulfurous acid. Its aqueous solution is acidic and turns blue litmus red. Because of its acidic character, it reacts readily with sodium hydroxide solution, forming sodium sulfite which then reacts with more sulfur dioxide to form sodium hydrogen sulfite. Let us have a look at the equation on the screen. When the gas is bubbled through lime water, it becomes milky. On passing through excess of the gas, the milkiness disappears due to formation of calcium bisulfite. Let us now learn about the third point that is its combination with oxygen and combination with halogens. Combination with oxygen Sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen when heated forms sulfur trioxide. The reaction which we are seeing is reversible and slow. Therefore, the reaction is carried out in the presence of some catalyst such as platinized asbestos or vanadium pentoxide. This reaction is used in the manufacture of sulfuric acid by contact process. combination with halogens 
sulfur dioxide combines with chlorine in the presence of charcoal which acts as a catalyst to give sulfuryl chloride. Let us again have a look at the equation on your screen. We will next discuss about its combination with hydrogen sulfide. Sulfur dioxide reacts with hydrogen sulfide when the two gases are brought in contact with each other. This is the reason why it acts as a mild oxidizing agent. And now we come to the sixth point that is role of sulfur dioxide as a reducing agent. Sulfur dioxide acts as a fairly strong reducing agent in presence of moisture. It reduces potassium dichromate to chromium sulfate as shown on the screen. The orange color of potassium dichromate turns green. Next chemical property of sulfur dioxide is that it reduces potassium permanganate to manganese sulfate. It decolorizes the pink violet color of acidified potassium permanganate solution. This reaction serves as a convenient test for the gas. In the presence of moisture, sulfur dioxide acts as a bleaching agent. The nascent hydrogen bleaches vegetable coloring matter to colorless matter. On exposing the bleaching article in air, the reverse process takes place, that is, color is restored due to the atmospheric oxygen. Thus, bleaching by sulfur dioxide is a temporary process. Aohun uses of sulfur dioxide te vichar kariye. Sulfur dioxide is used for the manufacture of sulfuric acid, sodium hydrogen sulfite, calcium hydrogen sulfite. Sodium metabisulfites are used as preservatives for jams, pickles, jellies and squashes, for refining of petroleum and sugar. It is used for bleaching delicate articles such as wool, silk and straw. It is used as disinfectant and a germicide. It is used as an anti-chlor that is for removing excess chlorine from bleached articles. Let us now learn about oxoacids of sulfur. Sulfur forms a number of oxoacids. Only a few of these have been isolated as free acids while a number of these have been found only as their aqueous solutions or salts. Some of these are shown on the screen. Let us have a look at them one by one. Formula is H2SO3. Name is sulfurous acid. Oxidation state is plus 4. Have a look at its structure on the screen. Formula is H2SO4. Name is sulfuric acid. Oxidation state is plus 6. Have a look at its structure. Formula is H2S2O3. Name is thiosulfuric acid. Oxidation state is plus 2. Its structure is shown on the screen. Formula is H2S2O4. Name is diethionous acid. Oxidation state is plus 3. Its structure is as shown on the screen. Formula is H2S2O6. Name is diethionic acid. Oxidation state is plus 5. Its structure is as shown on the screen. Formula is H2SNO6. Name is polythionic acid. Structure is as shown on the screen. Formula is H2S2O7. Disulfuric acid. Oxidation state is plus 6. Structure is as shown on the screen. Formula is H2SO5. Name is peroxomonosulfuric acid. Oxidation state is plus 6. Structure is as shown on the screen. And lastly, we come to the formula 
H2S2O8. Name is per oxo disulfuric acid. Oxidation state is plus six. Structure is as shown on the screen. Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is one of the most important industrial chemicals worldwide because of its industrial applications. It is called king of chemicals. Sulfuric acid can be manufactured by contact process. The process involves the following steps. Preparation of sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is prepared by burning sulfur in excess of air. 4Fe2+ 11O2 gives 2Fe2O3 plus 8SO2. Iron pyrites. Catalytic oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide. Sulfur dioxide is catalytically oxidized to sulfur trioxide with atmospheric oxygen. The reaction is reversible as well as exothermic in nature. This is the key reaction for the process. The high yield of SO3 will lead to more production of the acid. Can you now tell me this is based on which principle? Yes, you are correct. This is based on the Lee Chatelier's principle. Absorption of sulfur trioxide into 98% sulfuric acid to form oleum. Sulfur trioxide is absorbed in about 98% H2SO4 to form oleum or fuming sulfuric acid. Dilution of oleum with water. Oleum is then diluted with required quantity of water to get sulfuric acid of any desired concentration. Description of the plant. The plant employed for the contact process has been shown on the screen. On the extreme left, you find that it consists of sulfur burners. Sulfur or iron pyrites are burnt in excess of air to form sulfur dioxide. Hun asi purification unit bare janenge. The gaseous mixture coming out of sulfur burners is generally impure. The gases are purified before it is passed through the catalyst as we will discuss right now. Dust chamber. Steam is introduced to remove dust particles. Coolers. The hot gases are cooled to about 373 Kelvin by passing them through cooling pipes. Scrubber. Gases are introduced into a washing tower packed with quads also known as scrubber which dissolves mist and any other water soluble impurities. Drying tower. A spray of concentrated H2SO4 is used for drying of gases. Arsenic purifier. This is a small chamber fitted with shelves containing freshly precipitated gelatinous ferric hydroxide FeOH whole thrice. The impurities of arsenic oxide present in the gases are absorbed by ferric hydroxide. We will now learn about the testing box. The gases coming out of purification unit are tested in this box with the help of a strong beam of light. If some impurities are present, they will scatter light and the path will become visible when viewed at right angles. In such a case, the gases are passed through the purifying unit again. We will next learn about contact chamber or converter. The pure gases are then heated to about 723 to 823 Kelvin in a preheater. These are then introduced in the contact chamber. It is a cylindrical iron chamber fitted with iron pipes. Each pipe is packed with the catalyst consisting of either platinized asbestos or V2O5. In this chamber, sulfur dioxide is oxidized 
to sulfur trioxide. 2SO2 plus O2 in presence of V2O5 gives 2SO3. Delta H is equal to minus 196.6 kilojoules per mole. As the forward reaction is exothermic, the preheating of the incoming gases is stopped once the oxidation reaction has started. The heat produced in the reaction is sufficient to maintain the temperature of the reaction. We now come to the absorption tower. It is a cylindrical tower packed with acid proof flint. Sulfur trioxide escaping from the converter is led to the bottom of the tower while concentrated sulfuric acid is sprayed from the top. Sulfur trioxide gets absorbed by sulfuric acid to form oleum or fuming sulfuric acid. Oleum is then diluted with calculated amount of water to get acid of desired concentration. A flow sheet diagram of the contact process is shown on the screen. Let us now discuss about the physical properties. Pure sulfuric acid is a colorless, dense, viscous liquid having density of 1.84 at 298 Kelvin. It is also known as oil of vitriol. It freezes at 283 Kelvin and boils at 611 Kelvin. The high boiling point and viscosity of sulfuric acid suggests that it is an associated molecule. The different molecules are held together by hydrogen bonding as shown on the screen. The concentrated acid has strong affinity for water. The dissolution process is highly exothermic and a large quantity of heat is evolved. Thus, concentrated sulfuric acid of molarity 18M or 36M is diluted by adding acid to water and not water to acid slowly. When water is added to acid, so much heat is produced that acid will spurt out of the container. Let us now discuss about dissociation. Sulfuric acid is quite stable but on strong heating it dissociates into sulfur trioxide and water. We will now discuss about acidic character. It is a strong dibasic acid and ionizes in aqueous solution as shown on the screen. The larger value of Ka1 means that sulfuric acid is largely dissociated into hydrogen ions and hydrogen sulfite ions. Greater the value of dissociation constant, the stronger is the acid. Therefore, it forms two series of salts. Normal sulfates such as sodium sulfate and copper sulfate and Acid sulfates or hydrogen sulfates or bisulfates such as sodium hydrogen sulfate. Thus, it reacts with active metals, metal oxides, carbonates and bicarbonates which are the characteristic reactions of an acid. Let us now discuss its action with metal. Dilute acid with a greater degree of ionization liberates hydrogen with metals like magnesium, zinc, iron and tin. Let us have a look at the equations on the screen. Dilute sulfuric acid reacts with zinc granules to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen. Dilute sulfuric acid reacts with magnesium granules to form magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. However, metals like copper and silver which are less electropositive than hydrogen, fail to react with the dilute acid. Let us now discuss action with metal oxides. Calcium oxide reacts with sulfuric acid to form calcium sulfate and water. We will now discuss action with hydroxides. Being a diabasic acid, it forms two series of salts as shown on the screen. Sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid 
to form sodium bisulfate and water. Also, sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate and water. Let us now discuss action with carbonates and bicarbonates. Sodium carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate, water and carbon dioxide. Sodium bicarbonate reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate, carbon dioxide and water. Let us now discuss about sulfuric acid as a dehydrating agent. Due to strong affinity for water, concentrated acid acts as a powerful dehydrating agent. Its corrosive action on skin is due to this property. Its strong affinity for water is illustrated by the following properties. Let us now learn about drying of gases. Many wet gases like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, chlorine and hydrogen chloride which have no action with acid are dried by bubbling into the concentrated sulfuric acid. And now about charring. When concentrated acid is dropped on paper or sugar, it absorbs moisture and brings about charring. We will now learn about action on formic acid. Formic acid reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form carbon monoxide and water. And now, action on oxalic acid. Oxalic acid reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and water. We will now discuss about action on ethyl alcohol. At 170 degrees Celsius, ethyl alcohol gets dehydrated to ethylene. Next is action with hydrated salts. It removes water of crystallization from hydrated salts. For example, hydrated copper sulfate reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form in hydrous copper sulfate and water. Let me tell you that hydrated copper sulfate is blue in color and anhydrous copper sulfate is white in color. And now we will discuss action on salts. It is a strong non-volatile acid and decomposes the salts of volatile acids to form its own salts. Let us have a look at the equations on the screen. Metal halide reacts with sulfuric acid to form hydrogen halide and metal sulfate. As you see on the screen, M can be metal and X can be fluorine, chlorine or nitrate. Sodium carbonate reacts with strong sulfuric acid to form sodium sulfate and carbonic acid. Potassium nitrate reacts with concentrated acid to form potassium hydrogen sulfate and nitric acid on being heated. Similarly, sodium chloride on being heated with sulfuric acid forms sodium hydrogen sulfate and hydrochloric acid. In case of bromides and iodides, the halogen acid formed is oxidized to corresponding free halogen. As halogen acid is a strong reducing agent, it reduces sulfuric acid to sulfur dioxide. Let us have a look at the equations on the screen. Sodium iodide reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium hydrogen sulfate and hydrogen iodide. Sulfuric acid dissociates into water, sulfur dioxide and nascent oxygen. Hydrogen iodide reacts with nascent oxygen to form water and iodine. The overall reaction is sodium iodide reacts with sulfuric acid to form sodium hydrogen sulfate, sulfur dioxide, iodine and water. Therefore, because of its low volatility, sulfuric acid is used to manufacture more volatile acids from their corresponding salts. Precipitation reactions. 
Sulfuric acid gives white precipitate when treated with solution of lead and barium salts. You see on the screen that barium chloride reacts with sulfuric acid to form barium sulfate and hydrochloric acid. Lead nitrate reacts with sulfuric acid to form precipitate of lead sulfate and nitric acid. Similarly, lead acetate reacts with sulfuric acid to form white precipitate of lead sulfate and acetic acid. We will now discuss action with sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide is absorbed by concentrated sulfuric acid to form pyrosulfuric acid known as oleum or fuming sulfuric acid. We will next learn about the role of sulfuric acid as an oxidizing agent. Hot concentrated sulfuric acid is a moderately strong oxidizing agent. In this respect, it is intermediate between phosphoric and nitric acids. The oxidizing character of sulfuric acid is due to the fact that it decomposes to give nascent oxygen as shown on the screen. The nascent oxygen brings about a number of oxidation reactions. Both metals and non-metals are oxidized by concentrated sulfuric acid which is reduced to sulfur dioxide. Children, let us now learn about uses of sulfuric acid in fertilizer industry. It is used in the preparation of fertilizers such as ammonium phosphate, ammonium sulfate and superphosphate of lime. The bulk of sulfuric acid produced is used in the manufacture of fertilizers. In petroleum refining, it is used for refining of crude petroleum. The crude petroleum is treated with sulfuric acid to remove unwanted sulfur and other tarry compounds. In dyes, drugs, paints and pigments. It is used directly or indirectly in the manufacture of chemicals such as dyes, drugs, paints and pigments. In chemical industry, it is used for the manufacture of hundreds of other compounds such as hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, phosphoric acid, sulfates, bisulfates and diethyl ether. In metallurgy, sulfuric acid is used for metallurgical processes such as electrolytic refining, electroplating and galvanizing. A number of metals like copper and silver are extracted from their ores using sulfuric acid. In explosives such as manufacture of TNT, picric acid and dynamite. These are just a few of them. It is also used in lead accumulators. हुण तक असी काफी को जान चुके हां कुछ सवाल पूछ के ए पता कर दे हां कि तुसी आज दे पार्ट विचो की सिखया है माय क्वेश्चन इज हाउ इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड डिटेक्टेड एंड द आंसर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज डिटेक्टेड बाय इट्स पंजेंट स्मेल इट डीकलराइजेस पिंक वायलेट कलर ऑफ एसिडिफाइड पोटेशियम परमैंगनेट सॉल्यूशन it turns orange colored potassium dichromate solution green my next question for you is draw the structure of peroxodisulfuric acid the answer is structure of peroxodisulfuric acid is shown on the screen it is h2s2o8 and is named as peroxodisulfuric acid or marshall's acid its oxidation state is plus 6 my next question is what happens when sulfur dioxide is passed into aqueous solution of an iron 3 salt the answer is iron 3 salt is reduced to iron 2 salt you seeing the equation on the screen 2 fe3 positive plus so2 plus 2 h2o gives 2 Fe2 positive, SO4, 2 negative, and 4H positive ions. 
and the next question is how does sulfur exist generally the answer is sulfur exists as s8 molecules next question what is oleum and the answer is oleum is h2s2o7 my next question for you what is oil of vitriol the answer is oil of vitriol is sulfuric acid or h2so4 another question which allotropic form of sulfur has no sharp melting points and the answer is plastic sulfur has no sharp melting point excellent well done students ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਓ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਉਮੀਦ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪਾਠ ਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਮਝ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਧਿਆਨ ਦੇਣ ਲਈ ਸ਼ੁਕਰੀਆ ਅਗਲੀ ਵਾਰ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਤੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ 